Okay, so today <clears throat> I haven't um, touched my stove since last winter, and today I thought we might run a little experiment. I grabbed one of these um, little moisture absorbers that you use for your um, for your laundry cupboard, and I thought I'm going to drop it in here, pop it in here for the next I don't know week, couple of weeks, and see how much, if any, moisture we've got in the air. Um, that uh, that potentially is floating around in my stove. So I think what you're supposed to do is take this off, and it's also going to smell of lavender. But so the moisture, the liquid should build up in there. So I'll leave that in there today, day one, and then we'll forget about it for a month maybe, and then see see where we're at. So we're back at the stove, um, it's 32 days later. Um, the weather in that last 32 days has been, it was to start with very, very hot and dry the whole time, except for the last week or so, we've had about uh, three or four days of rain and the weather has cooled down. Um, you can see from my cheap little um, sort of air moisture little device here that we're looking at 50% um, um, atmospheric moisture in my house okay so in the stove what's happened let's have a look uh, here's our moisture absorber the dehumidifier now hopefully we can see yeah hopefully on the camera that picks it up as well can you see in the bottom there that, that liquid hopefully we'll pick that up there we go there it is so that's the moisture that's been drawn out of the air inside my stove in the last 30 days. Um, I would say that in the last month, I'd say that's, you know, just about, a, probably about sort of 25 to 50 milliliters of water. Now, that serves to illustrate how much moisture is in our air, in our atmosphere, and why it's important um, uh, to look after the interior of your stove, especially during the summer months. So um, the recommendations are to keep your air control fully out to allow as much air to flow through as possible. If you like, you can leave your door ajar. Just so, again, it allows more air to flow through the stove. And then internally, you can spray the, um, the cast iron and metal parts with um, a Q20 or WD40 type product just to give them a little bit of a coating. It won't do any harm uh, when you fire it up later in the, later in the year. And I'm... Um, Better put this back inside until we start using it again. But given the temperature, it has been the last few days, that may not be too long. Of course, don't forget to take that out before you make your first fire. By the way, should give credit here to um, a chap that I met in George on the um, garden route um, named Peter, who um, said that he does this with his stove. He installs stoves in the George area. Um, I think his company's called Fireheart. And, um, he recommended this and so I said to him I'm definitely going to run that test next time I have opportunity Peter and uh, yeah good tip thanks Peter